Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Continuing with our organic reaction series today uh, and our types of reactions that we are doing, today we will be looking at esters. Now to identify an ester, it has a special type of formation that if you look at the model of an organic compound, you'll find a C double bond O and a single bond O in the, in the model. And then next to it, we'll see that there's continuation of other carbons. So if you've got C double bond O, single bond O in the center of an organic compound, then we can say that it is an ester. So here's an example. We have methanol, which is an alcohol, and you're reacting it with methanoic acid. And when you react methanol with methanoic acid, we get methyl methanoate. So when you see ile and oate, we know that we have an ester. Now, how do we know which side is the methyl and which side is the oate? So if you look at this car uh, carbon, where we have the double bond O and the single bond O, and if we have to mark it out, we see that we form a type of an L. Similarly here, if we ever see double bond O, single bond O, we can have a type of an L that is formed. And what we could do, there's a type of an L that is formed. What I tell my learners is that what you have to do is look at it L in this way, wherever the, the bottom part of the L is, we start naming from that side. So we start naming from that side. Similarly, this one, the L ends here, so we start naming from the side. So we have to start naming from the left in both cases, although that's not necessarily the case. And if you look at the O here, for example, we see that next to the O, we've got a methyl attachment. So that's how we can also see it another way. The next to the O, we've got a methyl attachment, and next to the uh, and on the other side, we've got one carbon, so that will become the methanoate. So this is an ester, and that's one of the ways in which you can name it. Now, the formation of an ester takes place when, uh, in this case, we have methanol, so an alcohol reacts with methanoic acid, which is your carboxylic acid. So when an alcohol reacts with a carboxylic acid, an ester is formed. And we name it where the alcohol part is named first and the carboxylic acid part is named second, which forms the O8 part. Now, if you look at this case where, that we have in front of us, we've got four carbons, one, two, three, four. So this is butanol. And in our case, butanol is reacting with two carbons, so that's ethane, so it becomes ethanoic acid, and you have to have sulfuric acid as your reactant reaction condition. So sulfuric acid must be added so that the reaction can take place, and we see that it will form, the alcohol is named first, so it forms butanol becomes butyl, and ethanoic acid becomes ethanoate. So butanol plus ethanoic acid in the presence of sulfuric acid catalyst becomes butyl ethanoate. And let's just see if we name it. If here's our O, we must name from this side how many carbons on the left hand side. One, two, three, four. So four carbons will make a butyl attachment. And on this side of the O, we've got two carbons. So that's uh, eth. So it becomes ethanoate. And water is your product that is formed. Now, let's just uh, explain this a little further, taking another example. If you look here, we have propanol as your alcohol with your OH group. So there's our OH group, so we have propanol as our alcohol. And we've got ethanoic acid. Here we have C double bond O, single bond OH as your ethanoic acid. And here is our ester that is formed. Now let's figure out how this reaction takes place. So what we have here, if you take your propanol and if you remove the H from it, what's going to happen if this H has to come out? Then we've got propanol, which becomes propyl, and the H is removed. And in this case, when your ethanoic acid reacts, the OH group is taken out. So if you take the OH out, this O and this H out, if we take this out, if we remove that, we see that we get something like this. And I'll just uh, flip it over just to show you, uh, to demonstrate to you what's going to happen. And uh, let's just remove that. So in this case, we want to remove our OH group. We want to take this out. And I have did that 
at the bottom here. So I flipped the, the two carbons around and I've taken the OH group out. So we're left with this particular compound that's left here. And what happens is that the H is removed from the alcohol and the OH is removed from your ethanoic acid. And when they react and they combine, we see that the H is removed from there and that goes on top. And we can remove the X now. We see that this is the case that is from the carbons are upside down, but uh, you will see that you can compare it to the original that we end up with three carbons here. And we've got three carbons there. And we've got our ester group there. See double bond, single bond, O, and that's exactly the same. And we've got the methyl attached, but it's not actually a methyl, there's two carbons on the right hand side of the O. So if we name it, if we name using the, the this O is our point of reference, this O is a point of reference, we see we've got three carbons on the left, which gives you your propyl attachment. And on the right hand side of the O, there's two carbons. Remember that. This carbon and that carbon, which gives you the eth group, and give, that gives you the ethanoate. So the alcohol is named first. So A for alcohol comes before carboxylic acid, which is C. So A comes before C. So we get our propanol, propanol which becomes propyl from your alcohol, and your ethanoic acid becomes ethanoate from your carboxylic acid. And the propanol will, remove, will, will um, lose an H, and uh, ethanoic acid will give, lose an OH, and the OH and the OH will combine to form water. So in this case, we see that the propanol reacts with ethanoic acid, we get propyl ethanoate and water in the presence of sulfuric acid. So this is how an ester is formed. And... Um, don't forget that when you see C double bond O single bond O uh, C double bond O single bond O in the center of an organic compound, that's the way to identify esters. Thank you very much for listening.